I can help a lot of people that, uh, that, 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 can, uh, that come through our doors. 65-year-old John Stuckman helps a lot of people, just as the Rockford Rescue Mission helped him as a struggling 27-year-old. Making bad choices and not uh, doing what I was supposed to do, and I ended up on the streets, and I ended up uh, not having anywhere to go. And so I was able to find the mission and able to use its services. It was his personal transformation at the Rockford Rescue Mission that convinced Stuckman to stick around. 38 years later, he's still working at the mission as a men's crisis center coordinator. Well, I can actually tell him, you know, hey, you know, I'm, I was there too at one time and now, now you know, and you, and you can get out of that position too. And That's exactly what helped John Hazelwood through his tough times. My addiction had taken me to job to job to job and I finally came to a decision that I needed some changes in my life. I didn't know what that meant. So I approached uh, the rescue mission, <clears throat> Men's Crisis Center on a Sunday afternoon and immediately joined the recovery program. And that's where I met uh, John. Hazelwood saying Stuckman served as not only a friend and role model, but a beacon of hope. He had what I wanted and that was years of sobriety and years of service. Over the years, Stuckman says he helped thousands of men at the Men's Crisis Center. We help them with the uh, basic needs of life. We try to help them with uh, food. We serve three meals a day, and we help them with a, with a bed for the night, you know, to get rest. This is our bunk area right here. And then we help them with the, the tools. We can try to give them the tools of life. We have case managers here. The biggest change? The age of the guests. It's a younger clientele now, the younger group now that's been is here. We had 40, 50, and 60-year-old men, basically, basically alcoholics, that were here. And then um, over the years, as time has come on, we've had uh, younger kids. Forever changing countless lives that turned to the Rockford Rescue Mission for help. I've got a guy that, who well, I helped back when I first got here at the mission, back in 1980, 81. He still calls me about twice a week. He calls me twice a week to, and tells me how he's doing. What's it like for you knowing that you, you know, you've made those interpersonal connections and really helped people change their lives? It's, it's real gratifying. It's real gratifying. Stuckman's greatest accomplishment? Seeing these men that, uh, that come through the doors uh, change their lives and, and, and being, being, knowing that I've had a part in that. At the end of the day, Stuckman believes turning to the Rockford Rescue Mission was a calling. Ward called me here. He just called me here and, and I really feel that I was to stay here and just that wanted, uh, I wanted to, um, serve and I just wanted to serve and it's been it's been a good it's been a good time